Well, hello, and thank you to 30 Hairstyles in 30 Days, Day 15. Let's do a 360 view of this look. Okay, so what we have here is your basic Audrey Hepburn bun. <clears throat> and um, what I use to get this look, it takes bobby pins and it takes a hair implement such as this. Where one of these can be purchased is probably any place online or if you... Um, live in a town with a wig shop, you need to go into that place. I'm telling you, if you live in a town that's got a wig shop, your mind will be blown. Because not only can you get a wig, but wigs are expensive. And I know, I mean, it's hard to get a wig because they are so expensive. But man, the things you can do in a wig shop, you can get bump outs, you can get donuts, you can get all kinds of things to do things to your hair that's amazing. So anyway, I got these at a wig shop, but you can probably get them online. And I could not do this look were it not for this. So here's how I got this look. Let's get started. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so you want to wear your hair Audrey Hepburn style. Well, I'm talking about Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's, and I do not know how they did it. I'm sure you could research it and find out, but I do know how I can do it, and it's going to require one of these little things from the wig store or online. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to gather your hair. And this is going to be a kind of a high gather. Okay. Um, okay, so you're going to want to gather up your hair. Now, since we last, I've got this new brush. I didn't, it's not a new brush, I found it. I found it. It was somewhere in some place else in the house. So anyway, so you gather yourself up and you want to make sure that you don't have weirdness going on. Like that's weirdness. So you kind of brush it in. You do whatever it takes. And uh, <clears throat> so now the thing is to get the Audrey Hepburn look with the little bun is you're going to have to do a trifold wrap with your elastic band. I'm on my second wrap, and now there's my trifold. So I'm going for that trifold wrap. Here's where it gets important. You gotta pull, pull, pull. You're pulling as if you were going to do a messy bun, but at some point you're gonna wanna stop, okay? You're gonna wanna stop. And this is where this bump out thing comes in and you take it and you just gather up the hair and you push down this donut over your hair like this. And then it becomes a matter of you, bobby pins and hairspray is what it comes down to. Okay, so that's what it is. So see, I'm pushing it down and in an ideal world, this, you, you want this to look like a donut sitting on top of your head. And you'll do anything it, you, it takes to get that, almost anything. And so you'll grab this piece, and, and I'm just going to wrap it underneath the donut. And I'm just going to say that piece is getting secured. And then you secure it with the bobby pin. 
Okay, so that got wrapped up. This is actually looking pretty good. I'm thinking to myself, all I have to do now is tuck in some errant pieces and then just bobby pin the whole damn yay down. So that's what I'm doing. I'm thinking, you know what? This is fine. So look at that, I'm tucking it in. I, I'm, I'm wanting to get this to look like a symmetrical donut everywhere. And notice how I'm kind of feeling it out. And I'm like, and at the same time I'm looking and so then I put in a bobby pin. Okay, the thing about bobby pins is they are coated at the end so they go in fairly easy. They still hurt. Oh, yes, they will hurt sometimes. But this is looking to like to be a very good symmetrical bun. So I'm gonna try to tag it down around the circle. And I'm tagging this thing down. So up front, the front part is usually the hardest and it looks symmetrical. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I tag down. And so what I do is I open up that bobby pin like a V and I make sure I capture as much hair as I possibly can. And remember that donut, that sponge is gonna accept the bobby pin no matter what. Just like any other bump out kind of thing. Wow, so, <clears throat> so then you have to look at this thing head on. And you've got to say to yourself, can I wear this head on? Well, if you can't, you've got to try to manipulate your hair the way you want it. And I want it to move forward. So I'm going to take a bobby pin and I'm going to insert it just anywhere in the back. Okay, all right, and so I'm going to scrutinize and look at this little guy's popping out, but I'm going to take him and sometimes the littler pieces of hair end up being your bigger problem. And that's a good thing to keep in mind about life. Sometimes the little things will turn out to be bigger problems than the big things. So you got to keep an eye on all that. Okay, so that little guy I'm going to like once again, I make this V shape, try to capture him. And I'm capturing him, sticking him in, and I'm saying done. Okay. I'm not really liking this part right here. It's too big, it's too... Uh... So, there's always usually a saving grace to everything. And that usually is a bobby pin when it comes to hair. Again, I'm taking this, I'm making a V-shape. I'm gonna capture everything I possibly can. Capture that bump out thing and drive it. Okay, now more stuff is, it's almost like trying to like, um, if you're like living in uh, the Netherlands and they have dikes, it's almost, try, it's almost like plugging a dike and then like another hole opens when it comes to this style. And that's why you need a lot of bobby pins. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting some more bobby pins. Okay. Okay. So I'm actually feeling pretty good about this guy, except for like this thing looks kind of weird to me. So I'm going to nail that down. And now I'm quite happy. And if you really wanted to be overkill on this, if you really wanted to drive home um, the symmetry of this look, and this look is all about symmetry, you could push it down and then nail in more bobby pins all around. So now I'm going to give you the 360 of this look. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy with this look, and uh, where I might wear this would be anywhere that I wanted to be taken seriously. You're getting your hair up off your face. Um, it's a look that um, it says, look at my face, not at my hair. But yet, your hair is still up. I 
Okay? And again, you need something like this. So, oftentimes I've been out in the world and people have said, how do you, get, how do you make your hair do that? And I say, well, it's not just my hair. I need props. I got props. And um, don't be afraid to use props for your hair. You can use props for your hair. Don't be afraid to use any kind of a prop in life. If you need help in life, don't be afraid to uh, ask for help or don't be afraid to like do whatever it takes to get some help. So that's what I say. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me.